and welcome to another video on the Mobile Made Simple YouTube channel. So today it's another quick unboxing and a quick look at the new OnePlus 8T. So before we start, just to confirm, this is the 256 12 gig variant in aquamarine green. So I'm interested to have a look at this device, mostly for the 65 watt charging. As you may know if you watch the channel, I do currently use a Galaxy Fold Z2, which I absolutely love. But I do find the battery come 6, 7 p.m. on about 15%. So obviously having the ability to charge in half an hour is obviously something that I think will be great. So I am excited to try this one out. This isn't replacing the 8 Pro for OnePlus. It's sort of a replacement for the 8 so I think OnePlus are now looking at doing one yearly flagship and then a six month renewal of like the mid-range model. So we'll start by getting this on op opened up. So as usual it's got the full tab which breaks the plastic. I must say having just unboxed the Pixel 5 as well, the OnePlus packaging already looks a tad more premium but i think that's the key with the pixel 5 this year google are just looking for simplicity so we'll pull that plastic off put that to one side so oneplus do tend to like this square box look now so we'll slide that out yeah this video today is actually being filmed on the galaxy z fold 2 so i've currently got that mounted in an amazon tripod so I'm quite scared for it falling out as we all know how delicate the fold can be. We open this first, so this is the, have a look what's in here, it's the usual invitation letter. This will be from Pete Lau, the CEO of OneTOS. Oh, and the SIM pins fell out of there. But yeah, there we go, that's just a letter. Actually on some OnePlus news, I did see yesterday that Carl Pay has left OnePlus. He said he's leaving to focus on family reasons, but whether there is anything else in the pipeline or if he's going to another company, that shall be interesting. So instantly taking the phone out of the box, I immediately love that blue collar. So let me take this out. So in here we have the clear case, which is a very nice touch from OnePlus. As I said, the Galaxy Z Fold 2, 1700 and there's no case in the box. This one obviously retails 649 and you get an included soft case, which obviously you may want to purchase your own case, but at least if there's one in the box, you've got something to protect it until you find one you like. So this year OnePlus have gone to USB-C to USB-C, which is a nice change. And it's in that trademark red color. And then here is the, the beauty, that 65 watt USB-C charger which I think can actually be used to charge tablets and laptops as well as it is that powerful. It is quite heavy, but obviously for, for the charging it provides, can't grumble at that. So we'll put the box to one side and we'll turn the phone on. That just tells you about the fingerprint sensor, which is on the screen on the OnePlus. Let me take this plastic off. So OnePlus have gone for a glossy finish on this. So it's not the matte finish we see on the pro and it is similar to the oneplus nord but they said that it does help eliminate fingerprints obviously you can see a couple of light fingerprints showing when i rub across the back but it does feel very nice in the hand so we just put the sim card in where i can find the slots to the slots on the bottom and this is a dual sim phone which obviously the pixel 5 isn't I won't put that face down. So you got sim slot one, sim slot two. So I'll just put the included case on so we can see at the back it has got that never settle logo. It does show this nice aquamarine blue through and the buttons are nice and tactile as well so as i said i don't think it's a real bonus from oneplus that you do get a case included so we'll turn that on obviously the oneplus is normally a quick starter and i think oneplus as a brand do focus very much so on speed so we'll just let that boot up So 
and there we go for a first power on that was very quick so this is my first time actually seeing oxygen 11 which is obviously based on android 11 and oneplus have agreed to three years of software updates with this one which is always nice so just put the wi-fi password in So this is the option to obviously copy any data you've got, so just press don't copy for now. So I'll just sign in with my Google account. So there's an option to choose your search provider, I just always go with Google. Continue. Google Assistant yeah save it why not who cares about privacy anyway and then I'll finish that setup later OnePlus co-creation agree just set a screen and then we come to setting up the fingerprint reader actually hold the phone so it's a natural position on the scanner and it tells you to use the edges of your phone so do that and then the font you want Roboto or OnePlus Sans I'll go for OnePlus Sans Prefer navigation gestures. Set up complete. So start the phone. I'm actually surprised by this screen. It, it, it's fantastic obviously coming from a fold I'm used to the best display and this is up there with it obviously not in size but definitely in quality and I think OnePlus are using Samsung panels now and also by the looks of this they're using One UI as well no, <laughs> just joking but with OnePlus um, Oxygen 11 it is sort of now it's getting to a mix between One UI and stock Android obviously what the OnePlus fans will think of that I'm not sure as they are always obviously fans of stock Android Quite an enthusiast phone so whether they'll like the change going towards more of like a one ui look or a personal look for oneplus but we'll have to see so let's put the dark mode on so what i'll do now i'll play around with the phone and i will stick a review on the website sometime over the weekend when i've reviewed the pixel 5 obviously if you do like these kind of videos then please like and subscribe for more if you do have any questions about the one plus eight T then obviously leave them in the comments and I'll try and reply to everyone. Anyway, thanks for watching.